Previously on Style to Rock. This week, your celebrity client is the band Perry. Oh, sweet. Boys versus the girls. I think this is gonna like freak them all out. I kind of heard Ani like talking about us. That's so shady. She is two faced. You don't even know me, boo. So don't talk about me behind my back. I can't stand it. I'm a big fan of the leather with the boots, but also the really feminine tool. The detail in the vest is one of my favorite things. I don't see one thread that binds everything. Kimberly, which one is the winner? Autumn's team. Yes, winner. Autumn. Thank you so much. You guys rocked it. I'm really sorry to say this, but Adam, that was your last look. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is me. Hey, How you doing, Chad? <laughs> you know, just to hear my daughter talking that good, it's, she wasn't talking like that when I left a few weeks ago, so I feel like I missed something. But. Everybody's doing good. So, your mom, I would call her after I talked with you. You know your mama. She want to know what's going on. I think about them every night, every day. You know, when I wake up, I sometimes forget I'm here and I'm looking, you know, over to see. Where they are, and then I realize I'm not home. I feel like I'm here, you know, to make our lives better, so I'm, I'm okay with it. I hope y'all all okay. Yes, honey, you know I am, honey. I feel like I owe it to my wife and my kids because they made my life, you know, just so much better. And I want to do the same for them. I need to get back to work, so. Oh, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Love you, baby. It's a sacrifice to be here, so. I really miss them a lot. But I know I'm here for purpose, so I'm okay. Hey everyone. Hi. You've heard feedback on your work from me, Mel, and Pharrell. You guys have had clients Kylie Minogue, Kelly Osborne, Nervo, and Miley Cyrus. Today, a new voice is here to guide you. He's a Grammy winning artist who's worked with some of the biggest names in the industry. He's known for his tailored looks, he's written tracks for Rihanna and Beyonce, as well as recording several platinum hits all on his own. Who knows the song So Sick and Because of You? Wow. That's right, guys. Your guest mentor this week is Neo. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hello, hello. Welcome to South Rock. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot believe that Neo is here. Neo is like multi platinum, amazing, like, probably one of the biggest artists in R&B as far as like who he works with and who he makes amazing. Style is extremely important to me, you know, especially having your own. It's one of those things that uh, makes you different from everybody else doing it. The individuality as an artist is extremely important. And, uh, you know, as a designer, having your own sense of style, it's definitely gonna be a, a strength, absolutely. All right, designers, you guys ready for your new challenge? Yes. Yeah. All right, your next celebrity client comes from a family that lives 24 seven in the public eye. She's one of the most photographed women in the U.S. and is very particular about what she likes. She's married to a star athlete, and with her sister, she's part of an empire of popular TV shows and product lines, including a successful boutique. <laughs> Chloe Kardashian. Chloe Kardashian. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh... Chloe is my favorite Kardashian. I love all of them, by the way. But Chloe is my favorite because I just love how playful she is. You know, I just love her personality. Chloe is five foot ten and loves to show off her curves. After losing 30 pounds, she's feeling pretty enthusiastic about showing off the sexy look. Mm -hmm. Chloe needs an outfit to wear to a party celebrating the Grammys, and she wants her look that night to channel classic Hollywood glamour with a blend of sexiness. Now, Hollywood glamour is about embracing the silhouette, celebrating a woman's curves. Chloe loves everything from jumpsuit to skirts, as long as the material is stretchy. stretchy. She wants to show off her favorite feature, 
her long legs. It's my favorite feature, too. <laughs> Getting your look on Khloe Kardashian puts a designer on blast. All right, this is a huge opportunity for one of you. And Khloe says, put some umph into it. Whatever the umph is, I hope I pick some up at the store. All right, and I'll be back to see what you create and to see whose look Khloe picks. Good luck. All right, guys, go get started. Thank you. There's going to be so many photos taken of her in whatever dress she picks. It's mind blowing. It's, oh man, I have to get my dress on Khloe Kardashian. I need it. I need her to stick her amazing rump into my dress. <laughs> How she rock this? This is fun. That feels guitar. It does. It's gorgeous. I'm just so excited to work with Chloe that I really want to do something that I want to do, but I also need to like think about her. I'm a little stuck. So it's a delicate balance between this old Hollywood glam kind of vibe and like the Grammys edginess and then Chloe's style and then ah, ah. Style to Rock is all about finding that wow factor, finding that mm, that Chloe is looking for. Everybody just doesn't have the eye to be able to make someone look like a celebrity. But I do. <laughs> it's just scary to do my thing, but like, you're right. You saw the dress I was about to make, right? Kardashians all have dunks, dunk dunks, rumple dumps, rumple butts, whatever you want to call them. They've got juicy, juicy butts. I mean, holiday hams, whatever. They are amazing. I said it. That's a booty family, and I intend to bring out the rumple dump. Butts are in. Butts are amazing. Everybody likes a good butt, you know? I and mean, Chloe's got the best butt out of all of them, I think. Okay. Nits. Ooh, pardon me, I'm sorry. I'm getting some nice soft leather for her. I do need some chiffon. I'm gonna make like an arm wrap thing of just sheer fabric. She's a curvy woman. She likes knit fabrics. So I'm gonna make sure that all of the lines are great for a silhouette that looks good from every angle. So I got some reds and I got black as a backup. I am taking a risk by using some latex elements. She loves things to be a little rock and roll and very sexy. She's the edgy Kardashian, so. I thought she was the perfect girl for it. Comfort, risk, and an expensive silhouette is important for this one. It's important that you follow the fact that Chloe's the edgier one and she's a little bit more risky. Oh man. This is probably like the hardest challenge because I want to do me, but I also know them. Chloe Kardashian, she seems to like white a lot. And Mel and Aaron's biggest thing is to listen to the client. I personally would never make anything white in my entire lifetime. This challenge seems a little too easy. Easy? I don't know what you're talking about. This ain't my genre. Fancy party dress? Oof. Everybody was struggling, but I have an advantage over a lot of the other designers because I'm used to making gowns and cocktail dresses. You know, that's what I do. I love my sleeve, so maybe if I create my sleeve, the rest will come to me, right? I hope I'm not puttering out. You're not. You're a machine, Mama. You're like a fashion terminator. The reason that Laura and I sort of click is because we both have this really high standard for ourselves. And when we don't attain that, we are like extremely hard on ourselves. You're usually done your pattern by now. I and know. You're going to the sewing room and I'm crying in the corner. <laughs> I'm not crying yet. Ugh. Wait for it to speak to you. That is what I'm doing waiting for something to speak to me. Laura's secretly very emotional. She's sensitive about things I would never expect her to be sensitive about, because she seems like she has such like a tough shell. I would love to just do a whole skirt out of the latex and a top in this. That'll look hot. Why is this so difficult? I'm mentally exhausted. Being here is definitely a sacrifice. Now it's the longest I've ever been gone from my family, and I'm having a hard time focusing. There's so much I can do with this, and it's like, where do I take it? Hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. We'll see.
During this whole competition, I've given the designers a lot of feedback and guidance. Hey guys, but eight weeks into this thing, I wanna see how they fare on their own. It's down to five, it's empty in here, it's crazy. So we're gonna do something a bit different today. I want each of you guys to critique your fellow designers. Show that you have a critical eye when it comes to fashion uh, and give real critiques on the pieces. Uh, so don't sugarcoat it. Ouch. Coming up next on Style to Rock. The satin takes it into high-end Promville. What did he just say? This doesn't have structure. I don't think you need the gold. She doesn't know anything about the Kardashians. It's looking a little daytime. <sighs> I've decided who I'm going to pull. And later, there might be one too many cutouts. I'm afraid that's going to show your hoo-ha really easily. I don't like that. So we're gonna do something a bit different today. I want each of you guys to critique your fellow designers. Show that you have a critical eye when it comes to fashion uh, and give real critiques on the pieces. Uh, so don't sugarcoat it. Ouch. So we'll start with Dexter first. I'm proud of myself for the fact that in one day before we even had a full day, I made two entire dresses with completely different looks. I like the gold one better than the white one, for sure. It's getting close to the end, so I really feel like it's time to put up or shut up. I think I agree on the color story, so I didn't give them everything I thought, but, you know. Let's critique Laura. I feel like there's an Asian feel to it. I like the deep shade of red. I think it's really smart for you to use latex for this piece. It's looking a little daytime, I should say. So let's move on to Sergio. I think your silhouette is really nice and classic. I really do think autumn is the biggest threat right now. My concern is that this doesn't have enough structure. Do you yeah. know what I mean? She's very sure of herself and what she does, so when I look over at her, I'm like, okay, this one I need to look out for. I don't think you need the gold. I think you do such a good, that the black thing looks great with pink. That was it. Ani, your piece. Sergio, let's start with you. The satin that you have on the front, it takes it a little into high-end Promville. What did he just say? Prom? Seriously. These girls are so particular about expensive business. I think Ani's gonna be struggling with this one. Um, she doesn't know anything about the Kardashians. Okay, so let's move on to Autumn's. I'm making this sort of combination power mesh and like lightweight leather. There isn't very much to critique right now, unfortunately. <laughs> but that's my basic idea. Time management for Autumn sometimes gets the best of her. She still has a lot of work to do. It's going to be tight with time, of course. I'm trying my best not to lose it. I just think it's really ambitious. <laughs> I'd say keep going. Autumn and I have been going back and forth on both of ours, and it's perfect. I think it's going to be awesome. The designers had some honest criticism for each other, and I hope they took it to heart. That's what this whole exercise is about. Designers need to be able to take the advice from their peers to keep themselves in check. Thanks for doing my job for me. Uh, that's all the critique you're going to get at this point. <sighs> I'll be back later to do the poll. Wow. Mel's coming back at 6, right? Did he say 6? Yeah. OK. Come on. We can make it. Look at your little Laura. <laughs> OK. Put your pom poms away, boo. <laughs> <laughs> this week, our designers are creating a look for the most image-conscious celebrity in Hollywood to date, Khloe Kardashian. It's got to harken back to old Hollywood. It's got to flatter her figure. And they've had no help from the mentors this week. It's sink or swim. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, Mel. It's time for the poll. You're going to show me your designs. I'm going to decide whose work I show to Khloe Kardashian. This will be an interesting poll. Mel's going to be making the decisions and calling the shots, but he didn't have any input in the critique. So it's going to be interesting to find out if he agreed with our critiques on each other or if we should have just thrown them out the window. So it's a little tricky sewing the latex onto a different type of fabric. So I'm working on the sleeves and then a back closure to keep this fitted. Mm. Got a lot of work done, but I decided to go without the boning inside. It just fits my model like a glove, and it just has a cute little tail on it. I think it's sexy, but still my style. 
Okay. I kind of changed it a little bit, and um, I came up with this really simple silhouette, and it looks excellent on the model because she has hips. Okay. I'm about halfway through. I top stitched the leather on top of the power mesh, and I did about half of the back. Got it. Cool. Thanks. Hollywood glamour is not my natural aesthetic, but I am trained to do those kind of dresses. Like, my first internship, all I did was make bias silk dresses all the live long day. So I kept it simple. I just wanted the dress to look beautiful, elegant, simple, and I wanted it to look expensive by way of the workmanship. OK, I've decided who I'm going to pull. The pull is Laura Sergio and Autumn. But I'm going to look at everyone's work again tomorrow morning. So you two have time to change your looks around, and maybe I'll pull those as well. All right, so good luck, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> Connie's understandably very stressed out because she works very, very hard and did not make the pull, despite being almost completed her garment. Uh, I'm gonna go hide in a hole. There's definitely just tension in the workspace, and I think people are starting to feel the pressure. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, like I could not be happy. How are you? Good. How are you? Still here. I know. Oh, I gotta make some friends. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, let's go ahead and lose the bra from this spot. Sweet. Oh, this makes me happy. My model fitting, amazing. My model looked ridiculous in this dress. Like ridiculous. Oh, it is so beautiful. My heart stops. It's so good. So when was the last time you got to wear a pretty dress, like outside of modeling here? Um, well, like a dress like this, probably from prom. Prom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to hear was any reference at all to prom. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a prom date when I was around 18, and if you wanted to wear that dress to prom with me, Ani, I wouldn't be mad about it. Adios mio, it's very Latin prom. Oh my god, it's so hard to look at. Okay, cool. One last look. It's been such a rough day. My fellow designers are saying my design is a little too prom. I just made a drastic change to my dress. Oh, he's on to something. Right around 2.30 in the morning, I decided to open up to some advice from around me. The flabby, you can make that, the better. So as I'm putting on this uh, third epaulette on this dress, I'm realizing that I don't like it, but I just can't take it off. The needle has already poked through it a million times. I know it's going to leave a snag underneath it. I'm really hoping I make the pull because I really want to show my clothes to Khloe Kardashian. I guess I'm just going to smoke a cigarette and think. Coming up next on Style to Rock. I was kind of let down. I felt like I was going to see so much more. Like, if you look at any of this, do you see Chloe? To be completely honest with you, no. It's pretty quiet in the living space this morning. We're exhausted. It's mentally draining. You know, just getting in the space mentally. I gotta fight. I gotta fight, you know? I have a feeling I might end up being safer than I think I am. Sounds good, Dex. That was a tiny spike of optimism. I get those, like, once in, like... <laughs> <laughs> blue moon. Yeah. I have, like, a couple little things to sell. They can't sit me home because my dress is awesome. That's the optimism. Hi. <laughs> Brighton! Hi! <laughs> Your hair is so long! Oh my gosh! 
sacrificed a lot to be here. I mean, I had to leave my business, left my husband and my daughter. Oh, she looks so big. She is, she is. But hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. So you kicking ass out there or what's going on? I am. The more I think about it, there's no reason that you shouldn't take this thing. Well, competition is stiff, but I'm gonna. I understand. Competition is very stiff. They wouldn't be there if they weren't good. Yeah. But I also know how good you are. Thanks. And uh, I really honestly don't think that there's too many people with more talent than <laughs> something you possess. Thanks. You make us proud anyway, regardless of what happens. Thank you. My husband, you know, said that he was proud of me no matter what, which is awesome to hear. But, you know, when I'm working, I, I don't really think about it because I put everything into my work. All right, we love you. I love you, too. OK. Bye. I got to stay focused on what I have to do because I, I really do want to win this. There, if you need to look at it at all. How are you? And I want that brow my style, so square. So that's a maybe with the hair? Bone, bone, straight, like, and then, like, blunt cut. I'd like the eye to be very, very Kardashian. I'm really pleased with the way the morning's going, and I'm really hoping I can make the pool. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm here to check out your looks. Looking forward to seeing everything. I know more than anyone how much something can change overnight. If somebody did make a huge breakthrough, I'm totally psyched to add something to the poll. Looks like you did a lot of changes or added some things to the dress. Yeah, I did a lot of changes on the shape and the fit, and I added uh, epaulets to it to give it more of a pop. I'm nervous because I'm not sure that I'm going to make the poll. Um, the sheer numbers game is scary because if I don't make the poll, then I'm definitely going home. <laughs> Hey, Ani. Hey, Mel. How's it going? Looks like you changed your dress a lot. I did. I chopped it in half, added a dramatic hemline. Um, all of the pleats have been set down, so it's no longer a sculptural, but a line design. Everything was riding on making the pool the second time with Mel. He's stone cold. No comments at all. You guys worked with no feedback from me this week, change of pace, but you all finished your looks. So I'm going to add. Ani and Dexter. Oh, Everyone's yes, gonna make the poll, oh. but. Oh. That also means that anyone could be up for elimination. I'm not pulling all these looks because they're perfect. I'm pulling them because it's sink or swim this week, and I'm gonna let Chloe decide what's right and what's off. I'm so happy that Khloe Kardashian finally gets to take a look at my dress. But the downside to everyone making the poll is that means I still might go home. This is the part of style to rock, where we find out who rocked it and who has made their last look. Neo is joining us again to see the final looks. Welcome back, Neo. Thank you. Thank you. So let's go over the guidelines for this week. We asked you to make a look for Chloe that pushed her style forward. You were to flatter her figure, accentuating her curves and showing off her legs. And we asked you to blend some old Hollywood glamour in with a touch of sex appeal. All right, it's time to meet your client, Khloe Kardashian Odom. Hello. Hi. Hi. In walks Khloe, she looks gorgeous, curvy, you know, like the heavens parted and sent down an angel. Hey, you. Hey, Anton. Sweet honking that is a rump and a half. I, it was like a holiday rump. I felt like I was Christmas time. I was gonna open some presents in a minute. Thanks for being a part of Style to Rock. Of course. Chloe, have you always been a fashion lover? Yeah, I've always loved fashion. My grandmother has had a clothing store for 40 years, and so it's just always been in our blood. So you feel your style definitely represents your personality? Definitely, and I love that if I'm feeling in a certain mood, mm -hmm. then I dress to that mood. What was your height of fashion when you felt the most glamorous, the most secure, the most incredible? I feel like right now. I mean, you Amazing. know, when you get older, you learn to just love what God gave you. So I feel like right now. Great. Let's see the looks. What are your first thoughts, Chloe? I love the color. I do like the burgundy. The waistband is a little latex. 
which isn't Hollywood glamour, in my opinion. Laura's the queen of latex, the specific designer. It's her thing. Oh, that's so. her trademark. Yeah. But for me, I'm a latex person in the bedroom. Okay. So I would, for right. me, I wish it was leather. I pinned her for the wrong girl. That's kind of prudish. It's just a little bit of the dress. It's not the whole dress. It was just a little element of it. The back is awesome, but then I feel like the shoulders might be too much. I feel like there might be one too many cutouts. When I realize that Laura's going under and I know I'm coming next, I'm thinking, if Laura's in trouble, we're all screwed. I mean, that's hot, because you look naked. <laughs> What's going on with the neckline, though? Is that an epaulette right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Chloe is looking at that epaulette, and I am just thinking dead man walking. I like the whole silhouette. I like the high-low. It does show off the legs and does give a little of that gown effect by it being longer. There is something funky about the construction. Yeah. On the bottom, the way yes, that the, on the, the lining of the dress stops, and then it goes into a raw edge. It doesn't seem completed. Doesn't feel finished. Exactly. And it's not as clean as I would like it. Like, even the V, see how it's kind of pulling? Yeah. And maybe he ran out of time or whatever. I love the hot pink. That's my color. I love a high-waisted skirt. That's my natural waist. And that slit. I am not mad at showing off the legs, the slit. I like how he cut the top in yes. the front and in the back. The only thing I'm not seeing is the old Hollywood glamour. I was kind of, you know, looking for that. I would belt it, um, but I would probably just use a different belt. My initial reaction when it was dark, I was like, oh, this is it. Like, I felt like the old Hollywood glam was coming and it was flowing, but then the lights came on and I just, it's the middle section to the me. The corseted Yes, thing. that wouldn't flatter my body too well. The slit, I like the idea of a slit, but it seems like there's an extra piece of fabric that's kind of doing something weird. And the slit, I feel like, is a little too much by the crotch. I'm afraid that's gonna show you like your hoo-ha really easily. Mm. I'm crossing my fingers the whole time and my heart is pounding. Then when the lights came on, just downward spiral of critical comments, it was terrible. As the judges are going through each designer and lambasting them, I'm last and I'm just like... <sighs> I do love a little black dress. I do love leather. I do like the cutouts. It is very sexy. I'm just wondering, with the leather, with the cutouts, if I need the high-low. Like, there's maybe one too many things going on. It feels very... I feel mean. It, feel, it feels very superhero to me. That it makes sense. It feels very crime fighter to me. And I do not like the exposed zipper going all the way down to the mesh. I think the kids don't like Hollywood glamour. Do they style their models, too, or is it...? Yes. Because, like, you could take anything, really, and then if you have like a vintage hairstyle or makeup, it's all about like that curled hair the and hair that glamorous the, makeup. The jewelry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Designers, can you guys all come down here, please? Well, I just wanted to say, first of all, I know how difficult it is to design. Um, and I appreciate all the work designing something for me. But with that said, I was kind of let down. I felt like I was going to see so much more. And also, what's frustrating to me is I sent over some of my own garments for you guys to get references from. I don't know why those weren't interpreted to me. You do have to remember there's a client that you are designing for. Like, if you look at any of this, do you see Chloe? To be completely honest with you, no. It's very tough to hear. It is so tough to hear. The thing that, that confuses me the most about a few of the looks is, you all remember the, the, the key points that I gave you. Stretchy, old Hollywood glamour. So I'm wondering what point of reference a lot of the looks came from. I just don't feel like the, the direction was followed. When people, you know, have harsh critique, it's like you're jabbing that designer in their heart. So it was painful to take all right, having said all this, 
Chloe, you got a decision? I do. Coming up next on Style to Rock. I am a very honest person, and you guys aren't trying. Prove to everyone here that you want it. All of you guys failed this challenge. That dress was kind of a disaster. I'm the worst case of the munchies right now. It don't matter what they cook, beef, chicken, salmon. It just all tastes the same. I just want regular food. Not all that extra stuff they be trying to do. With them little teeny corns in that, I never seen corn that small in my life. Is that real corn? Yeah, it's baby corn. Well, baby, my granddaddy grew corn all my life, and I ain't never seen no corn like that. I'm gonna pee myself. Because I used to shuck corn when I was little, and I ain't never seen them that small. But if you shuck it before it's ripe, you get baby so corn. So they do it, they pluck it early. I thought it was mutated corn. If like, it was mutated corn, they would call it mutant corn, but they call yeah. it baby corn. <laughs> I ain't never seen no corn that little in my life. Chloe, you got a decision? I do. Difficult, but I do. Which look is our winner? Sergio. Thank you. How do you feel, Sergio? Um. <laughs> I feel a little beat down, but overjoyed at the same time. But I'm exhilarated, and I'm really happy, and... I am a very honest person, and I don't mean to beat anybody down. I'm not saying you guys aren't trying. I'm just saying if you guys feel tired, you guys could sleep later. This is your guys' dream, so hold on to it and prove to everyone here that you want it. Some people are prejudiced against latex. I would have thought she would have been like, yeah, this is latex, like totally showing it off. I could totally see her doing that, but I was wrong. Thanks so much for being a part of Style to Rock, Chloe. Thank We're you. looking forward to seeing Sergio's look at the Grammy party. I'm excited. Thank you. And I want to hug all you guys for my beat down that I gave you all. Chloe. Um, has been, like, probably the toughest judge so far. I think we all pushed forward in different directions, and that wasn't what Chloe wanted. I'm so sorry I let you down. No, you didn't let me down. I don't want to hurt any of you guys' feelings. I just want to, you know, hopefully give constructive criticism. I appreciate your constructive criticism Thank and your you. honesty. Trust me, I get told the truth all the time, but I feed off of it. It's what I need. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good luck to you all. Mwah. I thought Sergio did an awesome job. I feel like he really paid attention to who I am, and I think the dress is sexy and with a good spray tan, fabulous pair of heels, and I'm good to go. The four of you are now up for elimination. Tonight, you guys are here because your attempt at a sexy silhouette with a nod to Hollywood just kind of fell short. One of you guys is gonna be going home. You know, this happens. Sometimes the client just doesn't like what you're going for. This week, I gave you zero feedback to see if you were ready to work on your own. And you're not quite there yet. Laura, how did you feel about the critique? I'm disappointed in myself. It's hard. You know, I left, I left my daughter and my husband at home to come here to do this. And I hate the feeling that I'm disappointing people. At the end of the day, you know, um, if it were easy, everybody would do it. I'm usually pretty hard, but it's getting to the point where I've been, I've been away from home for so long, and there's so much going on, and I'm trying, and I don't want to lose it. Dexter, what did you think of the critiques? <clears throat> okay, gonna be an adult about this. Um, it didn't work out. I just did it. I take full responsibility for what I did, but I really, really just want to make stage clothes and I really want to do this. Oh, it's such a bummer that it just, it happened so fast and by the time it happened, there just wasn't the time to fix it. And that's what it is. <laughs> this one which sucks. Ani. I feel like it 
downward spiraled pretty fast in the critique, and attention to detail is one of my strengths. But maybe I don't know when to turn it off. One of your big strengths is construction, but a lot of detail, if it doesn't fit right, doesn't work either, you know? I feel like I'm adaptable. I feel like I can learn from feedback. And I feel like I'm giving you the best I've got right now, but I'm a young designer and I have potential. Autumn. I know that I missed the mark. I'm very, very disappointed in myself. I think I just chose to focus on the wrong things and it ended up, you know, what it is. There wasn't enough love and time put into the finishing touches of this dress. Whether or not it's old Hollywood, it's just not ready to be worn. It's difficult to receive criticism. Um, I particularly struggled not having any Mal's words of guidance. This week made me realize how much you do really support us. This is what I really want to do. This is what I'm born to do. Okay, designers, we've got a lot to think about. We'll call you guys back in a few. Being in that room and waiting to find out who's gonna go home, what they're gonna say directly to you, it's stressful. That was a rough toke of a challenge. I gotta be honest, I, I thought Hollywood glam and sex, that like those are two marriages made in heaven. It seems like there was no inspiration. Let's talk about Laura's look. No Hollywood glamour and not enough of a wow at this point to annihilate everyone else. Right. Latex is not something that everybody can pull off. I feel like she should have researched to see if that's something that Chloe would even do. All right, text her. Uh, there's nothing better than a, you know, barely there nude, simple jersey dress. He just loaded it up with stuff that would have made it a disaster, you know? I feel bad, man, but that dress was kind of a disaster. Next up, Ani. I think she is so hyper-talented and that her skill set crosses over so many different lines that it's hard for her to decide which part of her skill to execute. It's just like, also a good designer needs to know when to say when and what's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Autumn, it's not old Hollywood. It's not old Hollywood. That's not what I want to see Chloe wearing either. Looking at her personal style and then looking at the dress, I could completely see her wearing that dress, which is mistake number one, because you're not styling for you. You're styling for someone else. I, I, again, I feel like in the case of her, it just wasn't enough research done. All right, well, I think we got a decision, right? We do. Yeah. Okie doke. Let's bring him back out. Somebody's going home. I'm so sick of being a crybaby. This sucks. I'm sick of this room, too. I've been here way too many times. I don't want to go home yet. <sighs> Me either. I try not to think about it too much, like what could possibly happen, because I have absolutely no control. I'm here because I want to be here. I'm here because I want this competition, and I'm here because I want to work for Rihanna. But I am here to win, and I'm here to get to the end, and I just want Rihanna to see it. I, from the bottom of my soul, I know if I can do what I came here to do, no one will forget. <sighs> All of you guys failed this challenge, and you're in danger of being eliminated. We had an incredibly hard decision to make. Autumn, we feel that you didn't follow the client brief, and you didn't make the client happy. You have promised us some really great looks before, and your time is running out. But we believe in your overall skills. You're safe this week. Thank you, guys. Laura, the latex that you're known for was the one thing that bit you in the ass this week. We're gonna give you another chance to prove yourself. You're safe. Dexter, you took a good dress and you just, you overthought it. There was unnecessary details in place of really good construction. Ani, your look this week was off face. The dress just didn't make sense as a whole. First time ever, your construction was like not perfect. I'm sorry. 
I'm really sorry. But Dexter, that was your last look. Cool. You got this. See you soon. Yeah, absolutely. Dexter, it was great getting to know you. We really loved working with you. Just like take the experience that you found here and keep going with that. Thank you. I feel like this is something that you were born to do. And with that being said, it doesn't stop here. This isn't the end. You guys are just inspirational to me. I think I've shown some fantastical looks. It's a fun outfit. And... Dude, you should be so proud of yourself. Thank you guys so much for this opportunity. I really wanted to get to the end, and I've given everything I had to try to get there. But I'm proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. I can now make red carpet dresses, and I can now make book signing pieces, and I can now do things that I never thought as a designer that I wanted to or ever thought that I would. So I've left my mark in this competition. That was close, Mama. I really want to see you open your eyes to who the client is you're designing for and what's right for them. That's what I think is really important to see from you next week, because I know you're going to bring it with the construction. OK. We'll see you next time. Signing off. <laughs> there will be no celebration tonight. We just lost a heavy hitter. Wow. Mommy. I'm sorry I'm not bringing Dexter with me. Dexter went home today, and I don't know anybody who can raise a glass of wine to that. I want to grow. I want to learn. I want to get better. I need to, because there's no telling what's going to happen next week. Mm. Next time on Style to Rock, your celebrity clients this week are Big Sean and Naya Rivera. <laughs> what's up, y'all? We've arranged for you guys to have assistants to come and help you. Surprise, surprise, we have assistance. Give Sergio the winnings. I mean, I need it. We all need it. I got kids. I got kids, too. All three of you guys are doing a pencil skirt. It irritates me that everybody's using the same skirt. It is just about can she get this done. If I don't have anything together to show, I'll probably be eliminated. Autumn, what happened? I'm so sorry. Don't, don't cry now. I really like that skirt. Those pants are crazy. Yeah. That top is banging. <laughs> I think the fit of this is horrible. The skirt looks cheap. 